Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom, Black Arachnia. Now, taking a quick look at the packaging, you got Black Arachnia here in robot mode, Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom. Here you have great artwork as usual. Ah, I love this Kingdom artwork. Black Arachnia in robot mode and spider mode right there. And it looks like the nemesis there in the background. On the back of the packaging, you got Black Arachne in robot mode, spider mode, and side of the box is the Kingdom artwork. So now, without further ado, let's get this Transformers Femme Fatale out of this packaging and check her out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Black Arachnia all opened up and out of her packaging, you'll see she does come with a sheet of instructions. And as usual, these are very well illustrated, but they're not that easy to follow. It took me a couple tries to figure out her transformation. She also comes with her own trading card. Yes, Black Arachnia came with a Black Arachnia card. If I would have opened up this figure first and got this card and then opening all the others and seeing they were all random... I would have been pissed, so I think it's pretty neat that she came with her own card. And you've got Black Arachnia here on the front. Peel it back. You've got Black Arachnia in robot mode. And there is Dinobot, Scorponok, and Waspinator up there on the cliffs. I can't wait to see if we get those figures for sure. Black Arachnia also comes with her signature weapon. Kind of looks like a crossbow. And then you have the main gal herself. So let's now take a closer look at Black Arachnia. Hasbro's been really impressing me lately with how close they're getting their Kingdom Beast Wars figures to match the animation model of the television show. And Black Arachnia here is no exception, other than a few color differences. In the TV show, she had kind of a golden brown collar to her spider legs, and she had some purple accents. But all in all, this is still a great looking figure. Taking a closer look at Black Arachnia, just check out that face sculpt. That is dead on to the TV show. One issue I have is right there in the middle of her forehead. She's got this little red rectangle. That is supposed to be a hourglass symbol, and it's not centered correctly, but it's nothing I can't deal with, so no biggie there. Great molding all the way around. Fantastic coloring as well. I mean, this is a great looking figure. Really got a nice organic look to the spider legs. Great paint applications there all the way around. Molded detail there on the thighs all the way down to her big old feet. This is a really cool looking figure. And considering she turns into a spider, there is not much backpack or kibble at all aside from the legs. And of course, she had those legs very prominent in the television show. This is a great looking figure, and I gotta really commend Hasbro for this. I mean, this could be just a regular action figure as far as you knew. You wouldn't even tell this was a Transformer. Now, as far as articulation goes, 
The head is on a ball joint. It can look up, it can look down. It's got a little bit of a hinge right there. Do a complete 360. Arms can go up and down, a complete 360 as well. There is a elbow rotation and an elbow bend. Now the legs are on a separate hinge, so they can move independently. Now the upper part of the spider legs, they're all one connected piece. But once you get to the midsection, or the knee joint, these are all separate. So you can angle these however you want. And trust me, you're going to be playing with these legs a lot to get them into the different positions. One other complaint or minor nitpick is I wish the legs had tips that would work with blast effects. Because in the TV show, she could open fire with her spider legs almost like it was a machine gun. But I see why they didn't do it because it would really take away from the more organic look of the spider legs. Continuing on with the articulation, there is a wrist swivel, or not a wrist swivel, an elbow rotation, and of course the elbow bend. Down here, there is no waist rotation, and that's because of transformation. Legs can go in and out, back and forth. There is a knee bend, a very deep knee bend, thanks to transformation as well. Feet can go up and down, and there is a slight ankle tilt, a great looking figure. So let me get her all set up here again. And as I said earlier, she comes with her iconic crossbow weapon and she holds that in her hand right here. It just pegs in. There is a five millimeter hole molded into the claw. So she holds that really, really good. So there you have Black Arachnia all armed and ready for battle. All armed. Get it? <laughs> Anyway, let's get on to transformation. Transformation for Black Aragnia can be a little tricky. First thing you want to do is let's go ahead and get the arms up out of the way. And you're going to take the waist, you're going to bend this back, and bring this section up. The backpack, you're going to fold this out and away from the body and rotate the head inside like that. Now what you're going to do is this is the part to confuse me with the instructions. You're going to take the spider head and you're going to bring it, or excuse me, not the spider head, right underneath the spider head where the arms are attached. You're going to pull this section down and this will actually rotate the arms around. So you got to maneuver those arms out of the way, push that back up, and there you go. Now we're going to take the legs and completely fold the knee up. You know, kind of click into place. You're going to bring these legs around. They're going to fit up into the back section, which is going to be the spider's abdomen. Abdomen, that's always a hard word to say. So rotate those legs around like so. And there's another section right here, right where the waist is. You're going to snap this all the way up. And then all you have to do is just keep fiddling with those legs to get those rotated up inside the butt of the spider. So you've got that going on. Now you're going to take Black Arachnia's boobs. I never thought I would say that reviewing a Transformer. Anyway, flip those up and you're going to tuck those up in under. Sometimes it's a pain to do. Get the head all the way through. Tuck her boobs up in under the back section of the spider like that. Bring these little pointy knee sections up. Now we're going to rotate the arms in so they look like that. And now here comes the kind of tricky part is getting these claws attached. You want to rotate these around. You see the little tabs here on the ends? Rotate the longer portion of the claw. Whoops, didn't mean to hit the camera. Rotate that in toward the body. So they'll match up and there's those little pegs that will actually clip together if you can get it. There we go. And now we just take the legs, flip those around, and there's Black Arachnia in spider mode. Now you can take the weapon right here and see the two tabs. There is two slots right here in the wrists of Black Arachnia. What you're going to do is take this weapon and peg that into the wrist slots. 
and that will actually help hold the arms in place. Usually, I just fold the arms down first, then attach the gun. Once you get that attached in, push it up into place, tab the little claws together, get the legs straightened out, and that falls right off. Always on camera. And now that we have that gun really secure, there is Black Arachnia in spider mode, and this thing is creepy as hell. I'll be honest, a little unknown fact about Patriot Prime, I hate spiders. I don't care how big they are. I hate all spiders. They just freak me out. And this is a freaky looking spider. The only drawback from this spider mode is right here. Black Arachnia's shoulders are pretty prominent right under the chin of the spider. But hey, what are you going to do considering how they fit that robot all in the backside of the spider to make this really cool looking beast is pretty impressive <laughs> i am really impressed with her transformation paint applications look great she's got this red striping all along her back the head you got the eight eyes some little fangs right here this thing looks awesome i am really impressed with how they pulled this off now of course there's a little bit of wiggling but what are you gonna do the legs are articulated very well so you can get some great poses with her I mean, this thing looks awesome. You can even flatten her out if you want to do that. This is great. I am really impressed with this Black Arachnia figure. So there you go, guys. One final look at Black Arachnia in beast mode. And now for some quick size comparisons. Here is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Black Arachnia with Kingdom Megatron, Kingdom Optimus Primal, and Kingdom Cheetor. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Black Arachnia is a great figure. I've enjoyed her a lot more than I thought I would. It just amazes me how they can squeeze this cartoon accurate figure into that little spider body. I love the new modern Transformers engineering. It just blows my mind. So there you go guys, Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Black Arachnia. So, does the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Black Arachnia belong in your collection? Absolutely. This is a fantastic toy. I've said it so many times during my Kingdom reviews, this is a mini masterpiece. This figure really impressed me. I mean, you couldn't even really tell this is a Transformer just by looking at her. The engineering is amazing on this figure, and... I couldn't be happier. So you see this one on the shelf, don't hesitate, pick her up. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. And if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!